lot of our work involving victims of child pornography involves law reform. And, you know, because we are on the new and cutting edge area of the law, uh, when I came into this, there, there wasn't a lot of law. Uh, victims of child pornography were not seeking restitution. They were not seeking compensation by and large. And so over the past five years, we've really had a concerted effort at our law firm to not only do the legal work and not only to do some of the, you know, social work to help our clients, you know, achieve some sense of normality, but we've also been pushing the courts and the government to reform the laws and reform the practice of dealing with victims and addressing their needs. Uh, one of the, 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 the biggest honors was a year ago when our case on child pornography compensation was heard by the United States Supreme Court. This took a, a tremendous amount of work over really a three or four year period of time where we are litigating in, in every you know, federal court in the country, every court of appeal, circuit court, and finally up to the Supreme Court. And what's interesting about the Paroline case, it was a lot of firsts. Uh, one of the uh, things that often gets forgotten about the case is it was the first time that a victim argued on their own behalf before the United States Supreme Court. That's in history. It's also the first time, you know, a victim of child pornography uh, brought their claims to the highest court. But more importantly, it was also the first time that the Supreme Court found that an individual could be uh, achieve compensation through a crime that was committed on the internet by an individual that the victim did not even know. So one of the most significant aspects of this case is it established liability that victims are entitled to compensation on the internet from an individual that they didn't know who possessed images and were part of the child pornography market. So it is, it is part of an evolving sort of concept of both victims law, victims rights law, and also uh, child pornography on the internet, in, which is now a transnational and international type of crime and exploitation.